Aloha, my name is Asera Tua Olo, and I went to Oregon State University, and my major was liberal arts. You love the sports because it's giving you an out, but then again, getting all the attention is also hurting you because you're putting yourself further and further into the closet because you don't want people to, to find out that you're gay. But I went to Oregon State and uh, I saw how beautiful the place was. And at that time, I believe it was only 12,000 students at Oregon State University. And so walking around the campus and just seeing myself at Oregon State, I, was one, I, I thought to myself, man, I could probably hide here because it's not such a big school. And then that year I won um, the Morris Trophy uh, at Oregon State University. And it's the best defense alignment in uh, the Pac-10 at that time. So you know it means so much more than anything. It, it was, you know, that it was voted uh, by the players. And I, it was an honor to receive that. When I got drafted, I was like the, the highest defensive draftee at Oregon State history, like back in those days. And my first thought was, man, I'll be able to give back to my family, my mom, right? I cannot wait. She didn't really, you know, understand, you know, the drafting, but she was excited for me and stuff like that. But then again, uh, this whole dark cloud just came over me. And I just started panicking again because now the whole country saw me, you know, the draft. And, and then I just had another panic attack and I just had another, you know, all this anxiety and stuff like that. And so a friend of mine gave me uh, David Copay's book. Yeah. Uh, and David Copay, if you don't know who David Copay is, he's the first NFL player that came out back in the 70s, right? After reading that book, it really gave me the strength to sort of like, you know, say to myself, okay, enough is enough. If I find love, I don't care. If somebody outs me, I don't care. If somebody, you know, I'm gonna go for love. I wanna be part of the solution, right? I wanna help find the answers. I don't want people to go through what I've gone through, right? I wanna to try to educate people. I wanna to try to help all the, the things that I've learned in my life, all the hardships that I've learned in my life. I was going to transform that into positive energy and give it out into the world, you know. And this is what I live by. I also have an organization called Hate is Wrong, where we educate people on, you know, the LGBTQ community, but bridge the gap between, you know, the LGBTQ and the sports world. Uh, and so that's, um, that's what we do. We do an inclusion party at the Super Bowl every single year, and we do an inclusion panel. But that is my way of sort of giving back to the community. Uh, and just educating the community. I am so honored and I'm blown away uh, by the suggestion or by just being nominated as um, a recipient for this award. And I tell you this, this is absolutely incredible. So mahalo, thank you so much.